Hello guys, welcome to uh, another video of mine. Anyway, this is a video where I explain what I kind of look for in a game. Uh, now, if you guys have seen my Why Do People Judge uh, gra uh, Games Based on Graphics video, uh, you guys will understand that uh, that graphics are not my priority. Uh, though I do appreciate good graphics, uh, I, mean, I appreciate them. Uh, such as, you guys won't believe... Uh, my experience first time playing the PS3 uh, out of like uh, I think I was like 12 when I first played it after only playing like uh, the Wii, the Nintendo Wii for a good majority of it so so I mean, I saw a major improvement on it so uh, anyway uh, <laughs> so what do I really look for in a game uh, well number one the gameplay, because uh, I cannot stress enough that uh, if the gameplay is bad, then uh, then so is your game. So uh, because because uh, I cannot stress this enough, you can have the best uh, story, you can have the best graphics, you can have the best music, you can have the best uh, voice acting, you can have the best anything, but if the gameplay isn't good. No, I, I, I don't really even want to touch the game, let alone look at it, let alone own it, if it, if the gameplay is bad. So, uh, well, I think owning it is uh, a bit. Oh God, it is uh, I think owning it may just. Uh, I'm think just you know selling it. Uh, is probably just a bit uh, too far on that, but. Uh, Anyway, I mean, if the gameplay is not bad and I bought it, then it's probably just going to end up on the shelves. Uh, hold on, let me check on my upload of my ESA video. <laughs> Third video in a row <laughs> that I'm recording. So, anyway, uh, well, I, I always, always, always appreciate a good story to a game. Uh, you know... I'm talking about stuff like The Last Story. Uh, if you haven't played it, played it, uh, play it. Uh, though it can be hard to find, I understand. And I was pretty lucky to find it. So, I'm going to like that. Uh, anyway. Uh, anyway, so just... Uh, I, I, I always appreciate a good story to the game. I, I'm talking about stuff that's, uh, that can, that's, you know, just detailed and all that kind of stuff. Uh, what I, I just mean, like, detailed, uh, you know, you get to know the characters and, you know, uh, sort of connect with them. Like, uh, like the last story, there's, uh, there's, uh, General Astar, uh, and, you know, uh, spoiler alert, uh, he will die. Uh, sometime and by the t and uh, when he does uh, you just got past uh, this uh, training segment with him where you got to uh, learn what it takes to be a knight and uh, that's and that's kind of connects to what I'm saying because you know you spend a lot of time with him before he actually dies meaning you sort of have that time to connect with him and you know just learn to like the character uh, ESA video. No, it's still processing. Dang it. Ugh. Hold on. Let me just check. Is it? Dang it. Wow. Anyway, uh, <sighs> don't know why I'm checking YouTube. Anyway, uh, so, however, I don't appreciate the story if it's, uh, complicated. Uh, I mean, it, it leaves so many questions unanswered. Uh, no, I appreciate it if it's a few uh, questions left unanswered, such as, uh, again, the last story. Uh, you got this teammate named Yurik, uh, and uh, he emphasizes that uh, his father was, uh, uh, was left him, uh, left to go fight somewhere, and uh, he and he was uh, taken out to sea and died. Uh, and he had to travel with his mother, and uh, he really emphasizes that uh, that his mother died 
along those travels. So I'm just wondering. Uh, I I just keep every time I play the game, I keep uh, wishing that you know there was a way I could uh, find out what happened, like what happened to Yurik's mother, because honestly, I legitimately want to know because Yurik is probably my favorite character in the last story. So, and I'm going to be using the last story uh, quite a lot in this video because it's a good game. Because the gameplay is good. The, the story is good. The soundtrack is good. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, next is the soundtrack. I always appreciate a good soundtrack. Because, you know, nothing can be a... Uh, nothing can, uh, you know, get you pumped up for a battle like a good soundtrack you know when they get super epic or in cutscenes, you know when uh when you find something uh like super you know climatic you know i enjoy music that goes along with it that really you know carries the whole thing through and sometimes if it's necessary no music at all so uh <laughs> Uh, especially, I love a good battle theme. Uh, if you like uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, uh, you will know our names. Go listen to that right now. Uh, and uh, Final Fantasy X battle theme. Those are just awesome. I can listen to them all day while I'm fighting someone or anything. So those just get me super pumped for any sort of battle. Um, standing on paper. Not exactly paper. I got a couple sheets. Um... Anyway, what else do I like in a game? Uh, multiplayer. Uh, now, I know this is a common point, but, uh, you know, I, I'm i not talking about online multiplayer, though it is sort of appreciated. I'm talking local multiplayer that no no one seems to do anymore. Why? Uh, in fact, I the most recent kind of, uh, of a local multiplayer game that I'm I'm actually able to play would be Super Smash Brothers Wii U and uh, it's pretty much directly made to be a multiplayer game uh, the mo the single player the most single player game that I I uh, played that has a multiplayer functionality uh, would be Call of Duty I believe uh, Black Ops I mean, and that's how uh, in Call of Duty Black Ops uh, is how, you know, uh, the multiplayer should be. Where it's actually split screen! Instead of, you know, having to uh, make... Uh, have, making every person have their own console. Grand Theft Auto, I am looking at you with Grand Theft Auto Five, And Nintendo Splatoons? Seriously? <sighs> There's so much hype for Splatoons now, it's just gone. You know, no voice chat, no... Uh, no, no real local multiplayer. Platoon just may just suck. I, 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 the game's not out yet, so I can't quite say that. But to me, it's starting to look bad. Anyway, uh, what else is there? What else do I appreciate? A good control layout, because you know I started. I have a PS3 controller and I'm like controller. Anyway, so honestly, uh, the one thing I hate really is you know having to uh, say in a fighting game like Mortal Kombat. Uh, honestly, I hate you know having all these uh, super awkward uh, controls, such as uh, Mortal Kombat Nine Johnny Cage. Uh, to do that, you gotta do. That that button, that one, and then that. <laughs> uh, back down, square. Back down, square. Uh, that will do some kind of nut punch for Johnny Cage. Honestly, I just find that awkward, and I hardly ever use it. So, uh, though I really, so I don't use it as much as I should. And uh, how much? Dang it! It's still processing. Wow. Uh, so, I'm trying to think of a game where characters control like garbage. I 
I don't think I have a game where the characters control like garbage. Huh. Um. Oh, uh, how about... Now, honestly, I don't think this is a fair uh, thing, but they say that Shadow the Hedgehog uh, on the GameCube and PS3 and all that kind of stuff, uh, they say that uh, that Shadow runs around like he's in... Uh, like he's in an ice rink or some sort, uh, so some kind of slippery type uh, thing. I, I never had a problem with that, but I'm just saying, doing what the general public says on that. I never had a problem with the controls in Shadow the Hedgehog. Personally, I think it's one of the best in the series, so. Unpopular, I guess. Uh. <laughs> Uh, what else is there? What else is there? Oh, the extra content in the game. Uh, stuff, uh, for stuff like RPGs, such as, like, Earthbound and stuff, uh, I always, I always want to see if there's, like, any sort of New Game Plus, and, yeah, uh, I'm honest. Okay, yeah, okay, it's finally up, the ESA video, finally up. Okay, uh, anyway, so, one thing I do appreciate, uh, is, like, stuff like New Game Plus or extra content, like, extra story content, and stuff that really help you out, uh, and it, it really, it just works. Anyway, guys, uh, that's what I look for in the game, uh, a decent story, uh, good gameplay, uh, Good, good soundtrack, good controls, uh, and good extra content. Uh, honestly, I if if you're willing to make if you want to make a good game, make that kind of stuff uh, your priority, and then you know just make graphics your last priority, but still make it good. Cut some things if you have to, just to get the graphics okay at best. Because uh, honestly, if you played Superman sixty four. You can't really tell what anything is, so... Plus, the controls were just terrible on that. Anyway, that's all I got for this time. See you guys next time.